Thank you, Mr. Chair. So we now have uh, House File 1781. We've been hearing about MIF. Uh, Mr. Chair, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I'd like to move House File 1781 for um, two ways and means. Um, uh, we've heard of, of this particular um, uh, program where the um, local governments with a 20% return to the state can use the other 80% of their monies in or proceeds from these particular MIF loans for any purpose that is legally allowed. Uh, this is just a continuation of this particular program. Um, we'll see if we include it. In, we move it on the House floor. I'll stand for questions, such as Mr. Co Representative Koznick. So. Representative Koznick. I was a little confused earlier, so thank you. I, uh, the author's presenting. I'm a little th foggy th this morning, a little bit, too. You know? so. <laughs> um, so I just... I, you touched on it. So this is, if a local unit of government, no city or whatnot, has a balance of their MIF balance remaining, they can choose to repay 20% back and then have a little bit less restrictions on what they use with the remaining 80%, but it's their choice. We're not prescribing that they, they must or they have to. Is that my, is that correct understanding, Chair Mr. Mahoney? Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, that is correct. We are not forcing them to use this at all. It's up to them, uh, Mr. Chair and Representative Koznick. Um, what has what we have found is that oftentimes it's not enough money in their accounts to uh, really effectively bring a different type business into their particular community. Um, uh, the latest example that I have is that a small town had, I don't know, 50000 in there. They sent 20% back and used the $30,000 $30, or whatever it was to, uh, to make a down payment on their sewer and water uh, infrastructure system to reduce the cost to their constitu the, the constituents that it served. Um, it is one of the problems that small towns in greater Minnesota have is that their sewer and water is getting old. I'm not thrilled that they're using economic development monies for that, but again, I understand it's better to use the money than to let it sit in a bank account. Representative Cousin. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I under thank you for the uh, clarification and um, shedding some light on that. I guess that would be my concern a little bit too, but uh, you've been around a little longer, so I'll follow your lead a little bit, but... Um, Maybe we should put limits on how, when they have to use the funds by or something. I just an idea for a discussion, really. But thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Chair Mahoney, um, seeing no any other questions. Anybody else wants to testify? Please uh, give us your closing remarks and renew your motion. Thank, thank you, so Mr. Much for Chair and committee members. It's a good bill. Please vote for it. Chair Mahoney moves, uh, recommends House File 1781 to be recommended to be referred to uh, Ways and Means. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. See none. Motion passed. Good.